If you clicked on this video, you're probably wondering whether you should use React Native or Flutter to develop your mobile application. Well, you came to the right place because today I'm going to finally answer that question for you. If you're new to this channel, my name is Philip and I make software entertainment videos, ones that are probably a little bit different than what you're used to. But in order to find out if you like it or not, you're going to have to watch my other videos. Now, of course, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe and smash the thumbs up button. As developers, we all know that the algorithm works in a very familiar way, so any kind of interaction will be much appreciated. Building a cross-platform mobile application is trending these days, with the large amount of advent frameworks that we have available for us to do that. But there is two main frameworks that stand out and are trending these days, which is React Native and Flutter. React Native and Flutter are two of the most popular cross-platform frameworks that are out today uh, being used to build millions of applications every single day. So the question is, which one do you want to use and which one is more beneficial for you? Well, to put it simply, there are several factors that we have to look at to come to a proper conclusion. From a lot of these other videos and articles that I read, everyone says, well, you can pick this or this and surely there isn't a right answer to the question. Well, that is somewhat true, but I wouldn't agree with it fully. There is certain types of scenarios that you can fall into that will tell you exactly whether you should learn one framework or the other. Both React Native and Flutter come with a lot of similarities, like building cross-platform apps using one codebase, hot reloading, excellent UI. Those features are all implemented within those two frameworks but they do have a lot of differences and it's important to explore those before making a final choice. And that's what we're going to do today. To start off with, we need to consider what company made the framework. What are the job prospects that we can expect after learning such a framework and within its growing popularity will it be even relevant by the time we start applying for a job? What is the popularity of the framework within the developer community? What are the language differences between React Native and Flutter? How good is the performance? How well have they been adopted into the software developer world? And which kind of companies are already using those frameworks to develop their applications? Jumping onto the subject of who developed React Native and Flutter. Well, you might already know this, but for those who don't, they have been developed by the two biggest tech giants in the world. One of them being Google, which developed Flutter, and the other one being React Native, which was developed by Facebook. Now, there isn't much to say about this. I reckon most of you think that Google and Facebook are extremely great tech companies. So at this point, we can only say that React Native and Flutter are both winners in this category. Now, when it comes to job prospects, it's pretty simple to answer that question. Well, obviously, React Native will have bigger job prospects. And by bigger job prospects, I mean more companies will want to hire you as a React Native developer. But why is that? Well, it's not just because React Native is better. It's because it's been out in the market for a substantially longer time than Flutter. But if you actually look into how much of a change and how much commotion that Flutter is causing in the software developer market, it seems like Flutter is starting to become an extremely big competitor. And I reckon in about two or three years time, Flutter might as well become something that's the new thing for mobile development. But we don't know that yet. And we have to go with what we already know and we can't start predicting things. So when it comes to picking a framework that will benefit you in finding a job in the industry of mobile development, it will probably be React Native. But there have been some surveys done by the Stack Overflow survey of 2019, asking people which one of these frameworks is the most wanted in your opinion. And the results spoke for themselves. React Native was more wanted than Flutter. Like I said, Flutter is still new and upcoming and all of those things might change. But for this category, at this point, whether you ask me what you should learn, if you are really looking for a job, then the winner of this category is React Native. But, and a big but, that might all well change in the future. From my own perspective, seeing how much attention Flutter is getting, it seems like it might be a better choice for all those new people who are still at university wanting to learn something as a skill. 
Now on to framework popularity within the developer community. And I think this is a very important one and probably a really good sign of what's there to come in the future and what you should be looking into and trying to learn. Now, if you look at the Stack Overflow survey of 2019, many developers were asked what is their most loved framework. And you can clearly see that Flutter has one over React Native. Now, I think that is extremely interesting. One thing to bear in mind with is that React Native has been in the market for a really long amount of time. And Flutter has only been out in the market for over a year. Now, the fact that Flutter is just over a year old and it's already making such a big appeal to people over React Native just signifies that it has a strong future. Now, we'll see next year when the 2020 Stack Overflow survey rankings come in how people's mind changed. But to me, the winner of this category when it comes to popularity is definitely Flutter. Now let's talk about the language differences between React Native and Flutter. And let's understand why this will be the key feature and you deciding between the two frameworks. For anyone who is in the JavaScript background, anyone who's been doing JavaScript for years and years and years, and as you probably know, JavaScript is one of the most popular languages in the world. Well, here is where React Native grabs its popularity. React Native is based on a framework called React. That framework is all based in JavaScript. So you can understand why it is easy for people that have known JavaScript for years beforehand to learn React and then if they know React, to very easily transition onto React Native and be able to develop cross-platform mobile apps. Meaning that the learning curve for any JavaScript developer jumping onto React Native is very little to minimal. Now, when we look at Flutter in comparison, Flutter makes use of Dart, which is a new language that was developed by Google. Now, anyone who has had a background with C++ or Java might see some similarities, but then it is still a new learning curve for the people that want to be using Flutter. Nevertheless, in my opinion, purely because of that learning curve that comes with learning Flutter, React Native is the winner of this category. Now let's speak about performance between React Native and Flutter. Flutter uses Dart, and Dart doesn't need to have this JavaScript bridge like React Native does to interact with its native components. Actually, Dart directly compiles to machine code, which just tells us that it's so much faster than React Native. When it comes to performance applications, I reckon in the future when we start to create much more intense software for mobile apps, I think the fact of performance will be an extremely big uh, criteria when it comes to deciding between which framework you're going to use. So actually the winner of this category is most certainly Flutter. Now onto the final part. How have these frameworks been adopted in other companies? Well, React Native got a lot of its popularity due to the success of React. This means that any React developer can just so easily jump on board with learning React Native and start developing apps. Now, React Native is used by many products today, such as Facebook, Instagram, Tesla, Uber Eats, Bloomberg, etc., etc., etc. All these big corporate companies, tech giants, make use of React Native. Well, of course, we know that Facebook and Instagram uses it because it's all part of Facebook and Facebook made it. So why wouldn't they use their own software? It just would seem illogical, right? But all these other companies, they see some benefit in it. Now, when it comes to Flutter, because it's backed by Google, obviously we can tell that it has gained a lot of attention this year. To what I'm aware, the things that are written in Flutter are Google Ads and also Alibaba, who has adopted Flutter to make one of their mobile phone apps. Now, when we look into the App Store today, we can see that more and more apps are starting to be developed in Flutter. And I can only assume that this number is going to continually grow throughout the next couple of months. Now, here again, we are speaking about adoption and what kind of companies are using these two frameworks. The winner of this category will be React Native again. We're moving away from native development in iOS and Android and starting to embrace new technologies that are allowing us for cross-platform mobile development. Now, the final question, which framework should you use? Well, there are certain concrete points which will determine either you should use one or the other. Well, let's just assume that you are an individual that wants to get into mobile app development. Now, if you're planning to go and work for Google, well, you should then definitely learn Flutter. If you're planning to be an individual that works for Facebook, then also 
In that case, you should learn React Native. It is important for you to look into the company and what they are using, but also it is important for you to look into the future and think of what's beneficial. Now, with the way that Flutter is growing, I would say that for the majority of people who are still at university, thinking of computer science, thinking about mobile development, I think Flutter is something that you should definitely learn. As great as React Native is, and don't get me wrong, I am a React developer myself, so I'm trying to be extremely non-biased here. Now, when it comes to React Native, I think it's still going to be with us for many new years, but I reckon as time moves on and new projects will come into way, more people will be using Flutter than React Native to develop those mobile applications. And purely because of the advantages that Flutter will offer in the future when it comes to performance. But we also have to consider the fact that React Native is written in JavaScript and I don't think Dart will become one of the most popular languages in the world. Now, if you ask me for opinion, like I said, if you're still not in the industry, not looking for a job right away, and you have time to look into a new language and to learn some new stuff, I would definitely learn Flutter. Now, if you're someone who has already graduated, is in the process of looking for a job or changing their career to mobile development and you know JavaScript, then I think you should stick with React Native. Now, thank you guys. That is all for today. I really hope you enjoyed this yeah, video. If you yeah. did, please smash the thumbs up button and please okay. subscribe to see all my other content. And as always, I will see you in the okay. next video. Bye. Thanks for the time for me to go in. Like I dive deep. Like I'm last week night with the flow here. Johnny boy, my peeps. I'm an infotainment stain. My brain ain't contained. Keep spilling out. I'm belligerent and insane. My drink don't stay in place. Eh?